Monday, it's Gardner Minshew, um, a, a veteran, but a backup quarterback. Uh, mm -hmm. Richardson, their, their rookie, their fourth pick overall, shoulder surgery is not going to be around. Um, what are the challenges they'll face from Minshew in this Colts offense? Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, the way that Minshew has played so far this season, he's not like overly concerning of a, of a threat. He's had a lot of turnover worthy plays with it, with 10 of them in his two starts, obviously three interceptions in the last game. But I do think, like you said, he's still one of the better backup quarterbacks in the leagues and there's there's some potential there. But I think the challenge is probably knowing that the offense of the Colts can kind of come from anywhere with this team because Right now, they have two really effective running backs in, in Jonathan Taylor and Zach Moss. They also got some capable wide receivers in Michael Pittman. Uh, there's the rookie Josh Downs there who is emerging as well and has, has done a nice job in his first year. Uh, and this is a team, too, that loves to get their tight ends involved as well. So I think that maybe the biggest challenge is just trying to figure out where Shane Steichen is going to create offense from because he certainly has some options with this team. Um is there a guy that's really underappreciated, do you think, on the offensive side of the ball? Um, on the offensive side of the ball, like I said, I, I really like the rookie, uh, Josh Downs. I think that he can be somebody that is kind of a go-to for their offense, working the middle of the field, working out of the slot. This is a team that plays a lot of 11 personnel, so he's going to be out there quite a bit. Um, and I think that there's, uh, you know, areas of, of the field to attack for quarterbacks like Gardner Minshew and previously Anthony Richardson, you know, going to that middle of the field, having someone in their line of sight that they can get the ball to. And Josh Downs has done a really good job of that so far um, this season. And I think he can continue to get better at it. So I think he's, he's somebody that, that, that I've kind of been watching this year and, and uh, like him a fair bit. Would you expect Jonathan Taylor to get significantly more you know he he missed the first four weeks was on the um, non-injury you know the, the unable to play list do you think now they kind of ramp him back up to where he's getting you know 25 30 carries a game or do you think he still splits I think it's still close enough. Like, I think they're going to increase his workload again, kind of just just a bit like they did last week. I mean, the first week that he was back, he definitely didn't have a lot of touches. But last week, it was closer to a 50-50 split with Zach Moss. So I think there's at least a good chance that he gets more touches than Zach Moss this week. But the way that Zach Moss has played, he's, he's, he's ripped off a few good chunk plays. He's been effective with his carries. I think they probably still want to keep him involved. And uh, I think there's still going to be a role for him in that offense to, to kind of continue um, getting some kind of a workload there. So I don't know that Taylor's going to dominate the touches, but I could definitely see him leading the backfield. And it's important to remember that this is a guy that was – Right there with Nick Chubb and Derrick Henry as the best running back in the NFL. So he is somebody that the defense does have to deal with. Absolutely, yeah. This is a defense that is going to definitely have to kind of focus in. If you're looking for offensive stars on this uh Indianapolis offense then Jonathan Taylor is definitely the first one that kind of stands out especially as he gets healthier um, and gets a little bit more comfortable um, coming off of that injury as well so I I'm with you 100% Taylor is somebody to keep an eye on for sure.